Today, Minnesota Democratic Governor Mark Dayton unveiled a massive $1.4 billion construction package. He says it will generate 39,000 new jobs. The governor's plan includes hundreds of projects in every part of the state, even though Republican critics say it ignores the state's largest need. Here's Pat Kessler. There's a strong economy, a healthy budget surplus, and low interest rates. No better time, says Governor Dayton, to borrow the money to fix state buildings. So I urge the legislature to be wise. I urge the legislature to look beyond the politics of 2016 and the talking points for uh, re-elections and say, what does Minnesota need? The largest total dollars go for higher education buildings and repairs, $153 million to the U of M, and $190 million for work at state colleges and universities. If we, if we want a world-class higher education system, which we do, and we want our young people who have options, whether they go to college or university in Minnesota or one of the neighboring states or somewhere else, we got to have world-class facilities. $53 million for renovating Minnesota prisons, $70 million for security upgrades at St. Peter's Sex Offender Treatment Facility, and $75 million to upgrade oil train railroad crossings. Although there's money to rebuild two bridges in Minneapolis and St. Paul, there's no money for road construction. That's the number one priority for Republicans who expressed shock at zero road money despite the $1.4 billion price tag of the bill. It's very surprising. Uh, I was surprised to see things like ski lifts and uh, a ski ramp in, in the, the bonding bill, but not any money for transportation. It says to me that maybe it's not a priority like it is in our caucus. Governor Dayton says he received almost $4 billion in project requests. The legislature meets in March to uh, start adding or subtracting from that list.